You're not suggesting who I think you're suggesting. I know, he's a little weird. Weird? No, no. Can't believe you're bringing that freak into this. Neither can I. Jim Carrey, the acclaimed actor, had recently called it quits on his illustrious career after his brilliant performance of Dr. Robotnik in Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2. However, since we know Paramount is planning for a third film, fans were clamoring for Carrey's return, and he confirmed he would reprise his role as Eggman for one last performance on screen. His energy and portrayal of the iconic villain has been a highlight of the series so far. Sorry, Major, what was your name? Benny. Nobody cares! And will ensure the faithful adaptation of Shadow's story. Project Shadow. Shadow the Hedgehog, a beloved character from the Sonic universe, deeply intertwined with the Robotnik family legacy. Created by Dr. Robotnik's grandfather, Gerald Robotnik, as the ultimate life form, Shadow was engineered to help cure Robotnik's daughter, Maria, of a fictional disease. However, the cure was never found, and Shadow was imprisoned by the military for years. Jim Carrey's return as Dr. Robotnik is crucial for the faithful adaptation of Shadow's arc. Without Robotnik's presence, Shadow's story would have to be drastically altered to fit the narrative. Carrey's portrayal of the villain ensures that Shadow's connection to the Robotnik family tree remains intact, allowing for a faithful depiction of his origins and interactions in Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Of course, there is worry that doing an exact adaptation of the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 game could prove to seem redundant to the second film. After all, in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Knuckles was a powerful adversary turned ally by the end of the film, and if Shadow follows the same arc, the film will seem like a rehash of the same plot. However, after executive producer Kobe Asher's comments about Sonic the Hedgehog becoming an Avengers-like franchise, they could opt to play the long game with Shadow and give him a Loki-like storyline by having him remain as the antagonist throughout this film and in future projects slowly redeem his character through appearances and potentially his own spin-off series. The success of Knuckles, a spin-off series featuring Idris Elba reprising his role as the Red Echidna, will likely determine just how large the Sonic universe can become. While the release date of December 20th for Sonic the Hedgehog 3 may seem quite far off, since Knuckles is set to premiere on April 26th on Paramount+, Plus, Do I look like I need your power? What are you talking about? Of course we need his power. It's the whole reason we're here. Fans will have content to hold them over until Sonic returns to the big screen. Thank you so much for watching and for joining me on The Blurred Wire. On this channel, I strive to give you daily facts, news, and even reviews of some of our favorite movies and TV shows. So if you consider yourself a certified cinephile like myself, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, as well as follow our podcast where we go in-depth with movie discussions and other things that we all love. Thank you again for joining us, and we'll see you next time.